Being the first camera in the Z series to come with a fully articulated screen, the new ZFC is no doubt the most suitable Z body to vlog with. Today I'm going to test it out with the Sennheiser MKE200 microphone, the MLL7 remote control and the small rig tripod grip. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Gadgets with Alan. For the longest time, I have been contemplating of getting the Z50 to use it as a vlogging camera or travelling camera. But I have been holding back due to the small battery size and the flip down screen which I really do not like. And I'm very glad that I'm able to hold it off and didn't put a trigger on it. The new ZFC is in my opinion in every way better than the Z50 and even more suitable with the articulated screen to vlog with. So now without further ado, let's jump right into the testing clip that I did with the small rig tripod grip and the Nikon ZFC. Now I am holding on to the small rig tripod grip. My face is about 50 to 60 cm away from the lens. So as you can see for the 28mm lens, it's a bit too tight. It's not wide enough and the face is covering most of the frame seeing only a bit of the surrounding if the content is mainly about you talking more than the environment so possibly in this case for vlogging is okay but if you want to show more of the surrounding this would be too tight i did not get the 1650mm vr lens so i couldn't test it out but i would guess that that is a better angle wider angle if you want to do vlogging and show more of the surrounding but I do have the 14 to 30 mm Z lens full frame so I'm going to test it out right now okay so this is the 14 30 mm S lens at 16 mm just to give you a feel of how the 16 to 50 mm would look like and as you can see this is a much better angle for vlogging if you want to include more of the environment background it's not so much in your face like the 28mm where my face literally filled up most of the frame from top to bottom so now I have more leeway of showing the environment as it is and not covering most of it with my face by the way of this 1430mm is obviously heavier than the 1650mm lens I'll be getting the 16 to 50mm DX lens for traveling and vlogging this is much more compact and lighter I myself do own a couple of accessories from Smallrig and all of them are made out of high quality aluminium so I'm a bit surprised that they use high quality plastic for this tripod instead I guess it's a way to bring down the weight of the tripod itself so that you don't get too tired holding the tripod and the camera together but I don't feel cheap out on it and the price is actually not that bad it feels sturdy, it doesn't feel too flimsy but since it's made out of plastic, I don't think you should be mounting too heavy a camera on it. So something like the ZFC or even the Z50 is a good candidate for this tripod. So let's take a closer look at the tripod itself and how it works together with the MLL7 remote control.
So I do really like this tripod. It's easy to hold, light. It holds the camera well enough. And the remote control that sits in the tripod is easy enough to work with. Too bad the remote control only so far, as far as I know, works with the Z50 and the ZFC. It doesn't work with the higher lines like the Z6 and the Z7. I would think that a little you know, um, upgrade in the firmware should be able to change that, but I'm not very sure the reason for not doing that. So where can you get this small rig tripod grip? So I got it at half the price of about originally 67 USD converted from Singapore dollar while I pre-order the ZFC. And I have a few queries from my video to ask where could I get this tripod grip? And I searched high and low from the Nikon site and small rig site itself and I cannot find it anywhere. So I shoot a support email to small rig asking where could I purchase this small rig tripod grip item number 3070 and from their reply I was surprised to find out that this is a special arrangement between the small rig and Nikon so the small rig are not allowed or in an agreement not to sell it on their website and only Nikon is able to carry and uh, distribute the tripod grip themselves so you have to buy it directly from Nikon and their distributor and reseller but as of the date of the email, I'm also told that the bulk shipment is not being delivered to Nikon yet. So the sales couldn't start to the mass market. And as of today, the recording of the video, I still cannot find the sales of the tripod grip anywhere in the market. And if any one of you happen to find out where you can get one of these online right now, please put the link in the comment section below and I'll put it out in the description section for the benefit of everyone who is trying to get hold of it. But if all else fail and the delivery is really being delayed, I stumbled across this item on the aliexpress.com that could be the direct alternative for the tripod and the remote control. And it turns out that JJC has already designed this set up for the Z50. They are very similar in design and very similar in pricing, about 67 USD and you can get it straight from the aliexpress.com. Okay, so that's all for my short video on the review on usage of the NFC as a vlogging camera with the small rig tripod grip and the remote control ML-L7. It worked much better than I expect since it's specifically designed for this purpose. It's like to carry, easy to handle with one hand operation of the camera. I'll be using this setup more for my vlogging if I'm not in activity like hiking or biking. Uh, for those, I will still be using my uh, GoPro 9 or maybe the GoPro 10 that is coming out this month or the next according to rumors. But uh, for other things, I'll be using this ZFC for vlogging instead of the uh, GoPro Hero that I used to. So we have come to the end of the video. I hope you like it, find it informative or interesting in any way. Please do like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.